Hello and welcome to this AE Basics tutorial in which we're looking at the operands or the effects that you can apply to shape layers. We've only got a couple to go and we've actually got one of the most powerful ones to have a look at now. I'm going to apply it to both of these two shapes. Both of them are just polystars without a fill and just with a stroke. And by selecting the layer at the top with the polystars inside the layer, I'm going to apply them to both because it will go to the bottom of my stack. And I go to Add. And I go to the second from bottom, which is Wiggle Transform. And when you click a Wiggle Transform, apparently nothing happens, although this actually is, like Wiggle Paths, an auto-animating effect. You shouldn't have to make any keyframe changes, but as you can see, nothing is happening. That's because we need to dig into Wiggle Transform and find out how it works. Now, the key to understanding or to remember how Wiggle Transform works is in the name. It says Wiggle transform. Now if you remember before we've looked at the fact that you've got a transform for the layer and you've got a transform for each of the polystars. If I open up Wiggle Transform you'll see that I've got a whole bunch of bits and pieces here which we've looked at before at Wiggle Paths. We've got the number of wiggles per second, the correlation, temporal, spatial, random seed. We've had a look at those before but if you change those nothing happens. Control Z to undo that, take it back to 2. No, the key is remember the name Wiggle Transform. It's when you start to move the transforms that things start to happen. So for example, if I start to move the size and then hit my spacebar, you'll see that it just starts to wiggle the size of the individual items. So Wiggle Transform is affected by the changing of the transforms. So if I was to stop that and change rotation somewhat and hit spacebar, well actually that's quite a lot. It's going mad. So let's take that back to about, take that to zero and make this say 45 degrees. And hit spacebar and hit play. And you can see wiggle transform is all about the transforms. And of course you can change position, X and Y and things are moving around so you can have them automatically moving around the screen. Now I have done a tutorial in the advanced section which looks at wiggle transform and text. We've looked at how to create shapes from text and if you then apply wiggle transform to those shapes you can get them auto animating in the most exciting ways and the thing that I would say about wiggle transform is that it is probably best to remember that less is more. Unless you've got something that requires something particularly big, a big movement, a big change, I would say that having a little movement, a little bit of just something moving in the background is much better because your audience's eye is always drawn to movement. You don't need a big movement. A little bit of movement will draw people in and they will look at it. So less is more. And if you want it to wiggle a bit quicker, of course, as we know, we can go to the wiggles per second make it go absolutely ballistic if we want to or we'll take it back to a sensible figure like three at the most so you've got all the other bits and pieces that you can play with but do use wiggle transform and remember that the key is in the name it's called wiggle transform so therefore to make any changes you must open up the transforms for wiggle transform and change those my name is Andrew Davis. I hope you found this useful and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.